saying thank you, uh, artists uh, from three countries of the region, plus Germany, uh, for accepting the invitation of Carpo to come together here um, and have this exchange and this uh, conversation. Um, I'm new to this country. Um, at the Bahrain Authority for Cultural Antiquities, uh, we pay great attention to our collaborations with our different stakeholders uh, to improve our cultural exchanges and to enforce uh, cultural diplomacy as a means of communicating our culture abroad and as well exposing our population and our society here to these different cultures. Our cultural cooperation is not limited to programming and uh, exhibitions. Uh, it, it exceeds that in terms of conserving archaeological sites and as well as welcoming a number of, of archaeological uh, excavation teams that are working on a various uh, uh, scope here in Bahrain covering uh, a variety of civilizations and eras. And we believe that uh, this exchange of expertise is a, is a very positive contribution to the cultural scene here in Bahrain. Today's event is, is very important for us. It is part of the 50 years uh, diplomatic relations between Germany um, and Bahrain. And at the same time, uh, we celebrated 50 years of relationships with uh, Oman and uh, the United Arab Emirates. So today's event um, brought together or brings together artists from all those three countries with artists from Germany to have an exchange on identity, on sustainability and other subjects of interest to them where they will exchange among themselves regional countries who have a similar history with German artists uh, who come from a totally different horizon about the things that motivate them in their creation. The idea is from there to take uh, the ideas, their projects and see how we can follow up on this with joint initiatives, joint artistic events uh, and creations. We are closely cooperating with the German Embassy here in Manama to organize an event um, together with German artists and artists uh, from Bahrain, from the United Arab Emirates and from Oman. What we want to achieve is to bring artists together um, that are from different regions all over the world but are focusing on similar topics and uh, they are working in similar fields and they want to create something together which can yeah, enhance uh, the cultural dialogue between Germany and uh, Bahrain, um, Oman and the UAE. We are trying to engage basically people from the region and bring them together on different levels and um, trying to create a dialogue and that's also the reason why we're here right now to create a dialogue between artists um, out of different spheres different countries bring them together and try to find a common ground a common language of further discussions collaborations my practice is very much a transcultural one right from the beginning because of my mixed heritage but also um, because of the mixed locations or the different locations I'm working in. I'm working in a lot in the Middle East as well, um, though it's my first time here, so I'm very excited about um, this cultural exchange because it really links to what I'm interested in my artistic practice, which is making connections or thinking about disconnections between different global contexts and also communications, miscommunications, everything that's coming up. So I feel being here and having the opportunity to talk to different artists, practitioners from different contexts in the Middle East is such a great opportunity. Yeah. I'm just here in the in the coffee break right now and I had a lot of really nice conversations where I feel like it's not ending at all these conversations because people get so inspired and we just had a concept of in between which is they put the focus more on it how important it is basically to show the process of cultural development of art and not really the results. So I feel like it's also not our target here to show a really a result out of this workshop. 
I am the founder and editor-in-chief of Sualif Collective, based in the UAE. And I focus on mainly putting on shows and making publications that uh, represent a lot of the youth of the Kharij region. Um, two main things that I'm very interested in are is youthfulness and what role do young people play in the community and the society. Um, how do young people bring new ideas? How do they exchange ideas? How do they express themselves and create their own identities? The aim basically is more what I just realized, to be honest, is really like the process. The people get, have to be inspired, they have to get interconnected, interlinkaged, and I think that's something what we can already, we already success basically. And I mean, we are here coming the second time together um, and people are so happy after Corona to see each other really in person. I think that's a really valuable and inspiring surrounding what we created here or tried at least to create here but it's it's still just possible because we have so many really especially young but also like elderly people who are bringing all the knowledge with for further cultural exchange basically i do calligraphy and i do sculptures i do photography i do i use all of this in calligraphy and different materials. I have a lot of uh, artworks in, internationally, locally, alhamdulillah. I exhibited as well different uh, places in the world. We are now here in Middle East, especially here in Manama, for uh, sharing our culture, our dancing, our music, our gastronomy. So it's a uh, Mexico is so rich in culture, many many kinds of of outfits of gastronomy, different dancings, like in the, it's so big, a country is big, and in the north we have some kind of music, in the south another kind of music. We are performers for Mexico, and we use uh, to dance in Jolis Liguida and Company. And in this case, we are here in Barre. We are trying to share some culture of the Mexico City. And in this case, we celebrate the Independence Days of Mexico. In some cases, in Mexico, it depends on the city, we celebrate this uh, special date uh, with a big party. We used to do this traditional uh, celebration with all the people in the town and with some words of the government that said about the victory of the Independence Day of Mexico and also in some cases the folklore dance that represents the culture of Mexico. Also we have uh, in some cases singers, mariachi and a big party to celebrate this, this Independence Day in Mexico.
my name is Andrea and we came to promote uh, Mexican music, mariachi. Hi, my name is Lorena. We are from the beautiful city of Torreón and by celebrating the independence, we all got to the presidents and screamed three times, Viva Mexico. Also, this beautiful dress is from Jalisco. The second one is from Torreón, Coahuila, our city. And the last one is from Costa Nayarit. I painted this, this parrot because in Mexico it's really common and we really love parrots as it is an endangered animal and it's native from our country. I'm a Mexican painter and this is one of the paints I brought here for, to celebrate the independence of Mexico. This is called Doña Maria. Uh, Doña Maria was my neighbor in Oaxaca. I used to live in Oaxaca in the south part of Mexico. Now we come from Torreón. And the story behind this painting is that she cultivated her own um, corn and then she made her food with it. So corn gives us many things in Mexico like tortillas, sopes, layudas, everything comes from the corn. So it's a very symbolic painting I made. And plus, I had a very close relationship with her, so I, I paint people I really, really like appreciate. I'm from Mexico City. My, I live in Torreón, Coahuila, and I'm a figurative painter. My piece formed part of a series I call Encapsulated, which I talk about the meaning of life. This piece talks about the, the self-love and it is a very powerful medicine. I'm a Mexican painter. I like uh, trying for new materials uh, for my paint and in this case I use, uh, my technique is oil on plexiglass, is that? And this picture represents my family. I'm a Mexican artist. I am gold for Torreón, Coahuila in Mexico. And the present my art is in heavy metal and uh, the power of the horse is my inspiration. 